Introduction. The weather is still good, Rohit. Yes, Deepak. Look at here, Rohit. There are lots of frogs jumping in the water. Where do they come from? They come out during rainy season because there is no threat of get dried. How do they breathe? <laughs> good question, Deepak. Frogs use internal gills and their skin for breathing under water, and they also use lungs for breathing in air. Their skin is slippery. With mucus and is always kept moist. One interesting thing, I would like to tell you that adult frogs do not have tail, and a tail is present in tadpole. Let's know more about it. In this lesson, you will learn morphology and anatomy of animals. Objectives. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to describe morphology and anatomy of earthworm. Describe morphology and anatomy of cockroach. Describe morphology and anatomy of frog. Earthworm. Earthworm Ferretima posthuma belongs to phylum Annelida oligochaetae. It is used for type study because of the following reasons. It occurs all over the world except the Arctic and Antarctic regions. It is easily available. It is harmless to handle. Its size is a convenient for study. Its morphology is well studied. Morphology: Earthworm has long, cylindrical and bilaterally symmetrical body. The anterior end of the body is pointed and adapted for burrowing, while the posterior end is more or less blunt. A full-grown earthworm is usually four to six inches in length. And less than a quarter or inch in diameter, the body surface is marked into body segments by transverse annular grooves. The numbers of segments are more than hundred. Morphology: prostomium and peristomium. The head is not distinct in earthworm. At the extreme anterior end is a conical fleshy lobe known as prostomium, which overhangs the mouth. The mouth is a ventral opening in the first segment, which is called the peristomium. The prostomium is sensory in function, and with its help, earthworm can discriminate between light and dark. Clitellum, an adult worm, a prominent band of thickened and glandular skin. The clitellum encircles the body in fourteenth, fifteenth, and sixteenth segments. Cite, each segment. Except the first and the last is provided with small cuticular bristles or setae. These are slightly curved or S-shaped bodies with tapering ends, composed of horn-like substance, the chitin. Anatomy: Body wall of an earthworm is thin, soft, slimy, brownish, and shiny. Cuticle is the uttermost layer of the body wall. Below the cuticle. There is a single layer of cells called epidermal cells. The epidermis in the region of clitellum is very much thickened and highly vascular. The clitellar glands secrete albumin, which participates in the formation of cocoon. Alimentary canal. The alimentary canal of earthworms is in the form of straight tube. It starts from mouth in the first segment. And ends into anus situated at the posterior end. Mouth is small, crescentic aperture placed mid-ventrally in the first segment and protected by fleshy prostomium. The pharynx is a small, thick-walled and pear-shaped chamber, which extends from third to fifth segments. The dorsal wall of pharynx is thick and bulb-like and is known as pharyngeal bulb. Oesophagus is a long, thick-walled, narrow tube extending from fifth to eighth segment. Gizzard is a hard, thick-walled, oval chamber present in eighth and ninth segments. Its wall is highly muscular and consists of a thick layer of circular muscles. Alimentary canal. The gizzard terminates into a long tubular stomach, which extends from tenth. To fourteenth segments, 
its walls are highly muscular and glandular and thrown internally into numerous folds intestine intestine starts after 14th segment as a thin walled white tube with wrinkled outer surface the internal lining is thrown into small folds called villi one of the villi becomes larger and well developed forming typhlo sole which hangs in a lumen of intestine from its dorsal wall the part of intestine lying in the segments from 15th to 26th is known as prithyphlo solar region it walls is highly vascular and internally folded to form villi no tiflo sol is found in this region starting from the 26th segment and occupying approximately 23 or 24 segments lies the tiflo solar region of the intestine the rectum occupies last 24 and 25 segments and is without tiflo sol and villi circulatory system earthworm has a closed circulatory system consisting of heart blood vessels and blood blood glands produce blood cells and hemoglobin which remain dissolved in plasma and blood glands present in fourth fifth and sixth segment of the body four pair of heart with valves are present in segment 7 9 12 and 13 contractions of the heart keep the blood circulating in one direction smaller blood vessels supply blood to the elementary canal nerve cord and the body wall blood cells are phagocytic in nature respiratory system there is no specialized respiratory system exchange of respiratory gases occurs between the gases that dissolve in the moisture of the skin and the underlying blood vessel of the body wall it is called cutaneous respiration excretory organs a tubular excretory organ is called nephridia it is of three types septal integumentary and pharyngeal septal nephridia these are the largest nephridia of ferritima they are attached to both the faces of each intersegmental septum behind 15th segment the typical septal nephridium consists of three main parts nephrostome body and terminal duct integumentary nephridia these nephridia lie scattered on the entire inner or parietal surface of body wall in each segment except the first two pharyngeal nephridia these occur as paired tufts on either side of pharynx and oesophagus in fourth fifth and sixth segments each tuft consists of hundreds of coiled branched tubules without nephrostomes nervous system a pair of suprapharyngeal or cerebral ganglia are fused to form a brain that lies in the anterior and dorsal part of the third segment it is connected to two subpharyngeal ganglia lying below the pharynx with the help of a pair of circumpharyngeal connectives that form a nerve ring a double ventral nerve cord runs up to the last segment ganglia are segmentally arranged on the nerve cord and give off nerves to the organs of the segment concerned sensory system earthworm has receptor cells for light and touch that is tactile senses they can sense the light intensities and feel the vibrations on the ground they also have chemoreceptors which react to chemical stimuli all these sensory structures are present in the anterior segments of the body reproductive system the earthworm is a hermaphrodite or monoecious that is both the ovaries and testes are present in the same individual there are two pairs of testes present in the 10th and 11th segments one pair in each segment each testis is enclosed in a testis sac each testis sac opens into a spermidiocal funnel which opens into a long vasa deferens pair of large prostate gland is present on each side of the intestine 
from 17th to 20th segments. Two pairs of accessory glands are present, one pair in each of 17th and 19th segments. The common prostate and spermatic duct opens to the exterior by a pair of male genital pores or the ventrolateral side of the 18th segment. Four pairs of sac-like structures called spermatheke are found one in each of the 6th to 9th segments. During copulation, a pair of earthworms exchanges sperm. The sperm is stored in sacs called spermatheke until it can be transferred to an egg. In some species, this is done externally. The earthworm secretes a cocoon in which it deposits its egg and its mate's stored sperm. The baby earthworms emerge from the cocoon nearly fully developed but very small. They grow to a full size over the course of approximately one inch. Cockroach Cockroaches are insects with long antennae and legs which feed on scavenging. Morphology The body of the cockroach is divisible into head, thorax and abdomen region. The cockroach has sensory antennae which helps them to monitor their surrounding environment. The head of the cockroach is triangular in shape and it is at right angle to the body. It is formed by fusion of segments and it can be moved in all directions due to the flexible neck. The head bear a pair of compound eyes, a pair of antennae which helps in monitoring the environment. Their mouths have jaws that move from side to side instead of up and down and their versatile mouths allow them to bite, chew, lick or even lap up their food. Morphology The thorax is the middle part of the body. The insect's six legs and two wings are attached to it. Two claws on each leg and hairs on them make them capable of holding and climbing a wall easily. The legs of the cockroach are very strong and they can propel up to 4.8 km per hour. Thorax comprises of three parts. Prothorax, Mesothorax and Metathorax. The prothoracic legs are nearest to the cockroach's head. These are the shortest leg and they act like brakes when the cockroach runs. A portion of the prothorax also covers the cockroach's head. The middle legs are the mesothoracic legs. These legs help the cockroach to speed up or slow it down. The very long metathoracic legs are the cockroach's back legs and they move cockroach forward. Morphology Abdomen The cockroaches have segmented abdomen that contains the internal organs. A tube-shaped heart moves blood to organs and tissues. The blood is colorless as it does not use hemoglobin to carry oxygen. An aorta carries blood to particular organs. Most of the blood travel through a network of spaces called a homocele. Anatomy Alimentary Canal the alimentary canal is divided into three parts, foregut, midgut and hindgut. The mouth directs towards muscular pharynx and follows into oesophagus. The oesophagus ends up in a sac-like structure called crop which is used for storing food. In close contact with the sac, a gizzard or proventriculus is present. The outer layer of proventriculus is made up of thick circular muscles and in a cuticle made up by six chitinous plates which form teeth that functions to break down and grind the food particles. Hepatic sachet or gastric sachet is a ring of six to eight blind tubules that are present at the mid of foregut and midgut. Gastric sachet secretes digestive juices the midgut and hindgut are long tubules with the hindgut wider than the midgut. The hindgut is divided into three parts, ileum, colon and anus. Yellow 
thin filamentous rings up to 100 to 150 tubules called malphigian tubules are present between the midgut and hindgut. Their function is to cut out the excretory and waste products through hemolymph. Circulatory system Cockroaches have open circulatory system with poor developed blood vessels. The blood vessels get into a space called hemocol where visceral organs are bathed in blood known as hemolymph. The hemolymph is made up of colorless plasma and hemocytes, thus giving white color to the blood of cockroach. The heart is lying along the mid-dorsal line of thorax and abdomen. The heart is further differentiated into funnel-shaped chambers with ostea on both sides. Respiratory System Respiratory system is present on the lateral side of the body. There are 10 pair holes called spiracles consisting tracheal tubes. The tracheal tubes are further categorized into thin branching tubes called as tracheoles. These tracheoles carry oxygen from air to all regions of the body. The exchange of gases takes place at tracheoles by the process of diffusion. Excretory system Excretion in cockroach is done by malphigian tubules present at the junction of midgut and hindgut in elementary canal. Malphigian tubules are covered with ciliated and glandular cells which absorb the nitrogenous waste products and convert them into uric acid. This type of excretory system is known as uricotelic. Nervous system Nervous system of cockroach is a series of fused sectionally arranged ganglia joined by paired longitudinal connectives that lies on the ventral surface of the body. Three ganglia are in thorax region and six are in the abdomen region. The brain is represented by supraoesophageal ganglion in the head region which supplies nerves to sensory organs that antenna and compound eyes. Reproductive system Cockroaches are dioecious. Male reproductive system consists of a pair of testes from which a vast deference runs down and opens into an ejaculatory duct through seminal vesicle. The seminal vesicles consist of sperms bind together in packets called spermatophores. The ejaculatory duct opens into male gonophores present on the ventral side of anus. The reproductive accessory gland is present in the 6th and 7th abdominal segments. The external genital pores are represented by male gonopophysis. The female reproductive system consists of two large ovaries present in the 2nd, 6th abdominal segment on the lateral side of the body. Each ovary is a group of eight ovarian tubules, consists of chain of developing ova. These ovaries are connected by an oviduct that opens into the genital pore. Additionally, a pair of spermatheca present in the sixth chamber opens into the genital pore. During copulation, male cockroach transfers sperms into oviduct of females. The fertilized eggs are then wrapped in capsules called uothecae. These capsules are then dropped on a suitable surface near source of food. Each uothecae contains about 14 to 16 eggs. Thus, in cockroaches, the fertilization is internal and development is parametabulous as it follows from nymphal state. Frogs Frog is amphibious. It is found in freshwater bodies like ditches, pools, ponds, lakes, slow-running streams, etc. and in moist grassy land near water bodies. They show following adaptations for amphibious mode of life. Skin is an important accessory organ of respiration for which it is kept moist. Escape from their enemy by jumping in water. Fertilization and development takes place in water.
morphology body of frog is divisible into head and trunk the neck and tail are absent skin is formed of two distinct layers outer epidermis and inner dermis it consists of connective tissue cells and fibers blood vessels and capillaries nerve fibers and smooth muscle fibers the triangular shaped head is continued into the trunk portion the anteriorly placed mouth is a wide transverse opening pair of external nares is present at a short distance above the mouth just behind the eyes on each side pigmented tympanum is present the eyes are protected by upper and lower eyelids the trunk comprises anterior thorax and posterior abdomen pair of four limbs and hind limbs is appended to the trunk each fore limb consists of proximal upper arm and middle fore arm wrist and a hand bearing four fingers the hind limbs are much longer than the fore limbs and are much more powerful anatomy the alimentary canal is distinguished into following parts mouth and buccopharyngeal cavity in frog mouth is a wide slit like crescentic aperture at the tip of snout it extends from the tympanum of one side to that of other side in frog buccal cavity and pharynx together form buccopharyngeal cavity pharynx the posterior part of buccopharyngeal cavity represents pharynx it is perforated by two apertures the wide and folded aperture situated in the middle is the gullet it opens into the oesophagus oesophagus it is a broad and contractile tube due to the absence of neck it is very short and passes into the stomach stomach situated on the left side in the body cavity the stomach is the widest part of the alimentary canal about 2 inches long alimentary canal intestine stomach opens into a long tubular intestine it is divided into three parts duodenum small intestine or ileum and large intestine or colon rectum duodenum it is the anterior u shaped part of intestine it lies parallel to the stomach small intestine or ileum it forms several loops which are held together by a fan like dorsal mesentery it is a thin walled convoluted tube about 8 to 10 inches long large intestine or colon rectum it is short but comparatively wide tubes its inner surface is produced into longitudinal folds it is also called rectum cloaca and cloacal aperture the distal part of rectum is called cloaca or cloacal chamber it receives openings of urinogenital ducts from kidneys and of urinary bladder respiratory system the energy required for daily metabolic activities is supplied by the oxidation or combustion of food during this process oxygen is consumed and co2 is liberated the process of intake of oxygen and out pushing of co2 constitutes breathing and the chemical changes which result in the oxidation of food and liberation of heat energy and co2 constitute respiration circulatory system frogs have a well developed closed type of circulation they show blood vascular and lymphatic system blood vascular system includes a heart blood vessel and blood heart is three chambered it has two auricles and one ventricle heart is covered by a membranous pericardium a triangular structure called sinus venosus joins the right atrium it receives blood through major veins called vena cavae the ventricle opens into a sac like conus arteriosus on the ventral side of the heart heart pumps the blood to all parts of the body through 
arteries and veins collect the blood from all parts of the body to the heart frogs have hepatic portal system and renal portal system hepatic portal system is the special venous connection between liver and intestine while renal portal system is the venous connection between the kidney and the lower parts of the body blood is composed of plasma and three types of blood corpuscles namely erythrocytes that is red blood corpuscles leukocytes that is white blood corpuscles thrombocytes that is platelets erythrocytes are nucleated and contain the red pigment hemoglobin for transport of oxygen and carbon dioxide lymph lacks a few proteins erythrocytes and platelets as compared to blood excretory system the excretion is the process of elimination of waste materials resulting from metabolism which are to be discharged from the body as useless products the main excretory organ in frog is a pair of kidneys the microscopic structure of kidney reveals the presence of numerous coiled tubes which are known as uriniferous tubules the uriniferous tubules start in the form of a cap having two walls lined by flattened cells of granular epithelium nervous system nervous system is made up of neurons that is nerve cells nervous system consists of three main parts central nervous system brain spinal cord peripheral nervous system cranial nerves spinal nerves and autonomic nervous system the significance of brain in the body is to control and coordinate the functions of body cells tissues and organ systems so that they act harmoniously as a unit frog brain is divided into three main parts forebrain midbrain and hindbrain forebrain is formed of olfactory lobes cerebrum and diencephalon midbrain includes optic lobes crura cerebri hindbrain is divided into two main parts cerebellum and medulla oblongata reproductive system the male reproductive organ of frog are a pair of testes 10 to 12 pair of vasa efferentia and a pair of urinogenital duct or ureters the testes are light yellow colored oval or cylindrical bodies of about 1 inch in length these are attached to the ventral surface of kidney at the anterior end by means of a fold of peritoneum which is known as mesorchium the testes are attached to the dorsal from each testis a dozen of vasa efferentia are issued to carry the sperm from testes the ureters act to pass out the reproductive products to the exterior and hence are known as urinogenital duct female reproductive system female reproductive organs of frog are a pair of ovaries a pair of oviducts and a pair of uteri the paired ovaries are situated in the posterior part of the body cavity attached to the dorsal body wall and to the outer side of the kidneys by a double fold of peritoneum known as mesovarium the ovary consists of a number of lobes each of which is lined by germinal epithelium the oviducts are two very long and convoluted tubes of thick walls the oviduct is distinguished into three regions oviducal funnel it is the anterior most funnel shaped part of the oviduct which communicates with the body cavity by a wide oviducal aperture or ostium middle coiled part the middle part of the oviduct is long narrow and very much coiled uterus the posterior part of the each oviduct again widens considerably to form uterus ovisac the fertilization in frog is external did you know transplanted nuclei 
and cell differentiation by Sir John B. Gurdon. The nucleus of a cell from a frog's intestine is transplanted into a frog's eggs and gives rise to a normal frog. Such experiments aid the study of how genes are controlled during embryonic development. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. Earthworm has long, cylindrical and bilaterally symmetrical body. The head is not distinct in earthworm and each segment in earthworm except the first and the last is provided with small cuticular bristles or shite. Elementary canal of earthworms starts from the mouth in the first segment and ends into anus situated at the posterior end. Earthworm has a closed circulatory system. There is no specialized respiratory system in earthworm. Earthworm has receptor cells for light and touch senses. They can sense the light intensities and feel the vibrations on the ground. The earthworm is a hermaphrodite or monoecious, that is, both the ovaries and testes are present in the same individual. Cockroaches are insects with long antenna and legs which feed on scavenging. The body of the cockroach is divisible into head, thorax and abdomen region. The elementary canal is divided into three parts, foregut, midgut and hindgut. Cockroaches have open circulatory system. In cockroaches, respiratory system is present on the lateral side of the body. Excretion in cockroach is done by malphigian tubules and they are dioecious. Frog is amphibious and body of frog is divisible into head and trunk and the neck and tail are absent. The process of intake of oxygen and outpushing of CO2 constitutes breathing and the chemical changes which result in the oxidation of food and liberation of heat energy and CO2 constitute respiration. Frogs have a well-developed closed type of circulation. The main excretory organ in frogs is a pair of kidneys. Nervous system consists of three main parts, central nervous system, peripheral nervous system and autonomic nervous system. The male reproductive organ of frog are a pair of testes, 10 to 12 pair of vasa efferentia and a pair of urinogenital ducts or ureters. Female reproductive organs of frog are a pair of ovaries, a pair of oviducts and a pair of uteri.